Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are a subscriber, I really do appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and subscribe. And if you're listening to this on YouTube while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation slash reality chat, guys. I watched the most recent episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta recently and you know, Sheree is honestly disturbing in my opinion because she's got a problematic history. And if you watch the episode and you saw, even though we do believe, most of us do believe that this so-called relationship that she has with Martel Holt that's playing out on the show. And I guess it's supposedly still going on in real time right now. I don't know because I don't follow any of these people on social media. Um, Even though we believe it, it, it's a PR relationship. It's, it's made up for views. It's made up to garner more interest in love and marriage Huntsville, as well as real housewives of Atlanta. Because as if you did watch love and marriage Huntsville recently, you saw this upcoming episode Sheree is going to be on the show. Well, Sheree has an extremely problematic history. And I don't think Carlos King, in my opinion, I believe Carlos King is the one that set up this situation that they have with each other. I don't think Carlos King put those remnants together of Sheree's problematic history with men and allowing her to just play in our faces with Martel, somebody that most of us feel is abusive in a multitude of ways. I'm not saying that physical has happened, but it could be possible in my opinion, but he's definitely displayed verbal and emotional abuse. And in my opinion, um, Oh, I'm not going to say that word, but for any man, honestly, any man that would be sleeping around with someone else when they're married is dangerous. I know people play down people cheating and, you know, and forgiveness and all that other, you know, stuff that people do and letting things go. Oh, it's just sex or whatever. But it is absolutely dangerous because people who are like that, they're reckless. They're not practicing what they call safe sex. In my opinion, I don't really feel that there's any safe sex unless you are in a committed relationship because you just can't trust people like that to think that you can just be out here running reckless with your your private parts and thinking that you are not going to possibly bring something back to the other person when you're being deceitful behind their back. So him possibly exposing his ex-wife to venereal diseases I don't think people think about that. People talk about the fact that he had another child while he was married, but who knows what else he may have brought back to the house. I'm just putting it out there. We don't know. And I wouldn't blame Melanie if Melody, if she didn't want to come out here and say that he exposed me to some STIs, but it's possible. That's what we just have to put out there that it is possible so that's abusive as well and so to watch martel yell at kenya the way that he did on this most recent episode and and accusing her pretty much of being in a w-h-o-r-e we've seen this pattern with him doing that with melody the woman that he was married to for how many years, had four children with, calling her <laughs> a whore when we know that narcissists, they tend to call people things that they are. And we know that he definitely was the whore. And so it's absolutely crazy that Sheree has this dangerous pattern of defending men that are dangerous. If you watch several seasons ago of Real Housewives of Atlanta and they went to Miami on a trip at the time, Candy was pregnant with little Ace and Kenya, 
you know, people may say she was hitting on this this young guy and and he wasn't feeling her like that. But the guy was absolutely verbally abusive and he wound up being physically abusive because he knocked out his aunt. Her name was Tammy. I believe she was one of Bob's uh, best friends. And Sheree was accusing Tammy of uh, sleeping around with Bob. And the chick was like, I'd never slept with Bob. Like, that's my best friend. I would never go there. And he's not even my type. And so they were trying to hold him down because Kenya was telling the guy that she was making, he was making her and others feel uncomfortable and asking him to leave. And he got angry and he was just very verbally abusive. He was, I believe he was drunk as well, not giving anybody an excuse if you're drunk and intoxicated to be violent towards women verbally or possibly physically. It's all wrong. And security had to get him up out of there. He, his aunt tried to grab him. He knocked his aunt out. She was passed out on the ground. And at the reunion of that season, Sheree played down the fact that this man was abusive. This man was dangerous. And she was like, oh, he he wasn't that, you know, he wasn't that bad. You know, Kenya, she was hitting on him or whatever. Like she played it down. And Kenya said, he made, I don't know what you're talking about. He made me feel uncomfortable. And I know he made other people feel uncomfortable. And Candy said, he absolutely made me feel uncomfortable. And Candy was pregnant. Like he was, he was rude and nasty towards Candy at the, at the mansion or the place that they were staying at. They were sitting by the pool and Sheree played it off. She played it down. Okay, so the season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta when Sheree and Bob were doing this fake thing where they were trying to possibly reconcile and they went to, I believe it was Jamaica. I believe it was Jamaica. I believe it was a trip that Peter and Cynthia at the time had arranged. And Kenya was in a car with Sheree and Bob, and I believe Phaedra was in the car too. Phaedra and Kenya were in the back seat, and well, the back back seat, and then Sheree was sitting next to Bob in the middle seat. And there were some things that were said, and Sheree was saying, you know, she was alluding to the fact that he hit her, and Bob was playing it down, and he was like, well, maybe I didn't hit you hard enough. And Sheree just sat there and she didn't say anything. And Kenya and Phaedra are the ones that stepped in to say, that's just not right. That's not cool. And when Kenya was going through a situation or maybe it was past the fact when she went through that relationship that she had with Matt and that guy was abusive, Sheree was making fun of it. And Kenya brought that up to Sheree and she was like, girl, like, how could you even go there knowing the past that you have and the things that you went through? She, Kenya did not reveal at the time who she was talking about that may have allegedly been abusive towards Sheree. But at that time, I saw it as being problematic as well. And as much as people were not liking Kenya or feeling that she was messy and all of those different things like that, I didn't feel that Kenya was lying Kenya may have been messy in a lot of ways, but to me, this is my personal opinion when it comes to Kenya. I like Kenya because whether she was never an A-list actress, she may have never been a Halle Berry or a Meryl Streep. We get that. But she definitely has years of acting on her resume. She's been in a lot of television shows and even she's been in some movies. She was she had a small bit role in Waiting to Exhale. She's been on the Steve Harvey show. She's been on Martin. She's been on a lot of different shows. I mean, she's got a lengthy resume. So the woman knows how to act, okay? I believe a lot of that she has done on The Real Housewives of Atlanta has definitely just been playing a role in acting. I do believe that. But I, you may say she's messy, but you can't say that she's a liar. I never saw Kenya as a liar, especially when it came to things like that. And it was even proven that when Apollo tried to convince Phaedra that Kenya was trying to, you know, do some things with him, he lied and he came out and he apologized about it. You know, even though Phaedra wanted to hold on to it <laughs> and make it seem like, yeah, that was real. Um, he wasn't lying. I didn't believe that Kenya did that. She may have been messy when they were on that trip and 
and she was asking questions and and Apollo picked her up and jumped with her in the pool like yeah that was messy but I didn't believe that she tried to go there okay so anyway Sheree on this most recent episode defending Martel and Kenya trying to bring things to light to let Sheree know it's never okay for a man to come at a woman like that she would never agree with Kenya she would always in response make it seem like Kenya needed to check herself and she needed to take accountability and she needed to take responsibility for what she did. Kenya didn't do anything to warrant Martel coming at her in the way that he did. And for this man to not know her at all and accuse her of pretty much being a whore by saying, you know, check her DMs. I'm sure she answers everybody that is in her DM. You know, like that is such a disgusting thing to say for a man to say about a woman one that he does not know and Kenya was just letting Sheree know like this man has a pattern of just trying to reach out to people maybe you were just the next in line because if I went there he probably wouldn't even be with you right now or show any interest you fell for the banana in the tailpipe I didn't and just seeing his history and Kenya brought those things up seeing how he treated his ex-wife that alone so I don't get why Sheree continues to try to defend these problematic men at all it just doesn't make any sense. And it shows that there is a lack of something within her. She was on Iyanla Fix My Life years ago with Bob. And Iyanla called her out on a lot of different things too. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. But I, I will say this. When it comes to Sheree, you really can't take much of what she says with any weight to it. Because she's extremely superficial. And for any woman to defend a man that has not just the history, because this is the thing about it. People can change if they want to. A lot of people don't change. And it's truly because they have no desire to do so. If someone really has the desire to change, then they can take those steps towards changing. And then if they do it's not fair to hold their history or their past against them. But for someone who continues to operate in the same ways that they have been doing that have been problematic, there's no reason to defend anyone like that because they haven't changed by any stretch of the imagination. And Martel definitely has not changed. I mean, he hasn't even really been claiming her. So all of that being on the show saying, yeah, this is my lady. We're seeing each other. It's official. Like we're officially dating, whatever. And you did that because you were at the party with Kenya. He's just full of it. And so for Sheree to just go out all out defending this person that she still doesn't really know that well. She may not be real, genuine, true friends with she- with Kenya, but she knows Kenya a whole lot more better than she knew Martel. And so her problematic history of defending problematic men has been absolutely insane, especially, especially having her own past experience of being married to a man, even though I believe she married Bob for the money and she was using him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She was. (laughs) There was no real love there. I do believe that her own past experience should put her in the place of being more understanding of what Melody went through and not repeating history by getting with another problematic man. Yeah, you may not be having kids with this man because you're past that time (laughs) in your, you know, probably with the the female time clock. Listen, I I don't like, like Candy said, I'm not checking your panties. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when Nene and Candy got into it one season and Nene got offended that um, Candy made mention that Nene doesn't have her menstrual cycle anymore and, and Nene got offended by it. And, and Candy was like, I don't really care. I mean, hey, if you still have your period, fine. I don't really care. I'm not checking your panties. So <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> So yeah, we're not checking Sheree's panties to see if she's wearing wings or, you know, um, non-winged panty liners or whatever. We don't really care, but we can assume that a woman 
of her age and also now being a grandmother. She's probably not having her cycle anymore where she's still having kids. But who knows? We don't really care. But the fact that you would repeat history by being in a relationship with a man with a problematic history and you knew what you went through with Bob, just with Bob alone, and being married to this man and you saw how he treated you and Martel is doing similar things with Melody, you know, it's just absolutely insane. But Sheree and Martel, they do have some similarities and some things in common and and those things are not good things. Those things are character flaws. So it, it's not a surprising thing that they're playing in our faces with this fake relation, re- relationship, trying to seem like it's something that they're they're really doing. But it's not going to last. And it's very sad that this woman, who is a woman, who had her past experience with a problematic marriage and husband who also has two daughters and now a granddaughter would be with a man that has this problematic present not just a problematic past problematic past and problematic present and try to make it seem like he's a good guy and trying to sell off this image to the public that isn't really real it's absolutely insane so I just wanted to talk about those things because it really was getting my blood boiling when I was watching the episode last night and seeing how Sheree was trying to defend this man. That was pretty much the bulk of this episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I was 100% on Kenya's side. And like I told you guys, I'm not team anybody. I just try my, my best to be team truth and to be on the side of right. And to me, Kenya was 100% dead on. And, you know, when Sheree tried to say, well, I think you would really like Martel. And Kenya said, I want absolutely nothing to do with him. I started (laughs) clapping my hands like, amen. You know, Maya Angelou said it a long time ago. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Okay, so yeah. So guys, you let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section below respectfully. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. I'm Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.